Hello and welcome to CUB and Christians United Broadcasting Network. I am your host, Troy. I want to thank you for coming to our site. Now, you can get in contact with us at www.cubnlive.com. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Now, on the news today, we have Mr. Tim Tebow. Now, you know all about Tim Tebow where he's kind of been up and down, you know, football, quarterback, news caster come back up again football baseball now he's all invited now he's all into baseball now is he gonna make it or isn't he gonna make it lord only knows now if you got christ in your heart and you believe in your holy father then you obviously know nothing you do can go wrong if it does go wrong then it's only in the best interest of the lord now what do we have? For me, as this is Tim Tebow talking, for me, success is going to be defined by giving it everything I gave, by giving it everything I have. It's a dream for me and a blessing that I'm able to pursue that, Tim Tebow says. Former NFL quarterback Tim Tebow had his first workout with the New York Mets instructional league in Florida this week. He is now one of the 58 players in the league and is four years older and less experienced than any other in invitee. But he says it is his passion that drives him to beat the odds. For me, success is going to be defined by giving it everything I have. It's a dream for me and a blessing that I'm able to pursue that, Tebow told reporters at a news conference on Monday. Tebow hopes his experience of pursuing his passion will hit home for young people too. That's my message for young people, he said. I'm doing, I'm doing it to pursue what's on my heart and live out a dream and live life to the fullest. We see quotes on that on Instagram, but are we actually doing it? Tebow says his pursuit of his dreams is more than just a passion, but a testimony as well. His new book, Shaken, I did not even know that Tebow wrote a book. Ladies and gentlemen, Tebow's got a book named Shaken. Amazing. Describes the disappointment he felt after being cut by several NFL teams. Now he is using that disappointment to impact other people. I feel like it helps me with my testimony and relating to people that much more because a lot, a lot of people know what's it's like, what it's like to get fired from a job, he said. Tebow already has thousands of baseball fans. Hundreds showed up at his first day of practice sporting his new Mets jersey. That is amazing, ladies and gentlemen, how Mr. Tim Tebow is trying to come up from nothing to something and then going back down and going from nothing to something again. Now, I still thought Mr. Tebow had, he had, he had everything, all right? Tim Tebow, he had everything already. I mean, regardless of if he made it or not, he got Lord Jesus Christ in, the, in him. So he's got everything. Everything positive will happen to his life. But like I said again, if you do things bad in your life, everything will get taken away. You can, you can go with that route or, and then, you know, now it seems like he's getting, his, he's getting in gear and getting his life back together again. I'm not saying that, you know, he went and got it. You know, the Lord states in the Bible that basically you you um you are you are being you have lessons to be taught. He'll teach you a lot of lessons in life and then you'll get hit nonstop by these lessons and it, if 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 you're going down, 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 down and you stick with the Lord, then he's gonna bring you right back up, up, up in Jesus' name. That's what I'm talking about. For me, success is going to be defined by giving it everything I have. It's a dream for me and a blessing that's, that, I'm, that I'm able to pursue. That is amazing. That is from Mr. Tim T. In Jesus' name.